Hi everyone, this is YML and today we are going to talk about the attention mechanism found in the transformer model as it was introduced in the quite famous paper Attention is all you need. This paper has been quite influential in the past years and many various models have been derived from this mechanism like uh, GPTs or BERT models and that have quite revolutionized the natural language processing world. The attention mechanism was applied for machine translation in the paper Attention is all you need and the input to the model was a sequence like this one over here. The capital of France is Paris and for each token in the sequence the model created three vectors. The first one is the query vector, the second one is the key vector, and the third one is the value vector. The next step in the computation was to take the query of the first tensor here and do a dot product with the key of the same token, and what we obtain in the end is a scalar value. Then we take the exact same uh, query tensor and do a dot product with the key of the second token. And again, we obtain a scalar. And again, we take the query, we do a dot product with the key value of the third token, and so on, and so on, and so on for all the keys uh, in the sequence. And what you obtain after this operation is basically a set of scalars for each of your input tokens and what you do next is to divide each scalar by uh, decay the square root of decay and decay is basically the dimensions of the q vector or the k vector or the v vector this looks a little bit uh, random, I agree with that, but after you see like the next operations, it will make more sense of why, of why we do that. Okay, the next operation is to apply the softmax to all the scalars. And what we obtain is basically another scalar, which has values between 0 and 1 after the softmax operation. And what you do with the scalar is to multiply it with the value vector of each token. So this ve value vector here, V, corresponds to this one here, this one here corresponds to this one here, this one here to this one here, and so on. And what you do after you multiply the scalar value with uh, value vectors is basically to sum everything up and then you obtain the representation of the token given by the attention layer. And now the interesting part is how we look at all these operations. So basically, uh, when we are computing this value here, we are multiplying a value between 0 and 1, which can be looked at like, I don't know, like a weight to the respective token. So basically what we are doing is to ask how much attention to give to like this token, how much attention to give like to this token, how much attention to give like to this token and so on for all the tokens in your sequence. And now going back to this division here, I believe that now it would make more sense to explain it. So basically here you divide the scalar value by this square root decay, which again is the dimension of these uh, vectors over here. And you do that in order to make like the distribution of the weights over here more uniform. So when you are computing like this value over here, the model does not focus too much on a single token for its predictions. Okay, so what we did until now was to compute the representation for the first token, but how do we compute the representation for the second token? Well, we do it in a similar way. We take the query of the second token, we do a dot product with the key value of 
all the tokens in the sequence, apply the same operation that we discussed previously, and we obtain its representation. We did the same mostly for the third uh, token. Again, we take its query, we do a dot product with the key values found in the sequence, we apply the same operation, and we obtain its representation. And we do basically the same operations to compute the representations for the remaining uh, tokens in our sequence. And now let's take a better look at how the attention mechanism works when we have like multiple layers and each layer produces like a representation. Let's say that this is like the representation produced by the first layer, this is by the second, and this is by the third. So what will happen is that the first layer will look like a dish token here. And okay, this token here, this token here, and okay, let's take another one and so on for all the tokens in the sequence. It will assign a weight to each token, 0 0.4, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, let's say, and again 0 0.1. And then based on these weights, then it will route like the information from each token to this position over here. So basically the attention mechanism can be seen like a mechanism of soft routing from one layer to another. And again, the attention mechanism will do the same for the rest of the representations in the first layer. So each one will look at each token, it will assign a weight, and then it will route the information from each token to that position based on the weights assigned. And the same happens when we go to the second layer. Yeah, it will look at the representations from the previous layer. It will assign a way to them, to each of the possible routes. And then based on these weights, it will route the information from this layer to the next layer on that position. So basically, this is the attention mechanism in the transformer model as presented in the attention all you need paper. I've omitted some things from uh, the computations, things like the batch normalization that happens inside or like the skip connections that also happen. But I've considered them not so important for understanding like the basics of the algorithm. And also I should mention that what I've presented until now is the encoder attention. The transformer model also has a decoder where the things are a little bit different. Uh, in some of the parts, the attention is also computed in, the, in a similar way using only the tokens from the decoder. But there are also like a part known as like an encoder decoder attention where you use like, okay, the queries from your, the, the representation of the decoder, but you compute your values and keys from the representations of the decoder. In addition, it might be useful to know that the attention mechanism uh, can be applied to any kind of uh, set of symbols. It's not restricted to be applied to only sequences of words. And if you look carefully at the paper, the authors use what's known as positional encoding. So basically what they do, they are like some kind of encoding to each of the representations in the first layer uh, before computing the query value and the uh, key embeddings in order to tell the neural network that this is like the real order of the wo words in the sequence and they should be treated as such. As always, I would like to thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like to it and maybe subscribe to the channel. It would help me a lot. And until next time, I hope that we have a wonderful time and bye bye.